Game three. China versus Tigris. A little more space in between. I do like China's map here. Tigris map is also good. More of a land grab there from Tigris, more than likely. No? This back door from Tigris. We'll probably send two villagers. <clears throat> Housed. Still no attack upgrade. I'm not sure why China's not racking right here closer to his town center for earlier army. And no back doors for China either. Last game, Tigris clicked his legion upgrade at about 223. China's about 30 seconds later. There's the back door for Tigris. See one villager. Two vill three villagers. China might lose upgrades here. It doesn't look like he's going for ballista towers yet. Now this time last game, Tigris had about 4,000 food, probably closer to 3,000. China's sitting at 9,500. Tigris is going to continue to grow this little backdoor colony. And at this rate, China's going to have no room to farm when his starting food is out. Whereas Tigris still has all the land to do whatever he wants with. About the same time on legions for both of them, China is not going for Ballista Towers. Again, it's going to be very hard for him to farm. He's going to have to do a lot of backwards towers. No house room either. This is not looking good. Both of them very low villager count. China's got the larger army, better kill loss. China's going to have to clean this back door soon. Pushing at the front though. Right now, he should probably raid, try and prevent any early farming that Tigris has started. Tigger still annoying him with the back door. Gold and stone at risk. Good push from China. Now it doesn't seem Tigris is going to go ballista towers either. Technically, Tigris has three golds. Technically also has three stones, but this one isn't necessarily safe, neither is this, but still does town center. China's only got six farms. Starting to make some more. Food is starting to run low. Tigris is just blocking off the side of the map. Pumping a lot more villagers, taking this berry for some quick food. 
Some good villager kills for China. Now, Tigris's economy is getting ahead. China's still with the kill loss in the army. Only 100 population, though. Idle bills. No control of the map. Even if Tigris loses his TC, it's quite easy just to block. And regardless if he lost his Golden Stone, he's taken one of each at nine. And this is just so very easy for Tigris to block. A couple little holes. He at least has farmland. China's not making any villagers, hardly any army. He's got about 18 legs pumped into one rack that I saw. Big push from Tigris in the back. Now China's gotten in. For some reason Tigris has not blocked everything off. This might get interesting. But Tigris still has at least 9 to 12 and mid to farm at. If need be. And then this is even easier to block off. What China should do is try and clear all this out, make some more houses because he's about to be housed, farm down, and Tigris his old TC. This might turn into a very good, messy game. China still has resources. Taking land. He could farm. His just economy is a little low. He just can't make any more army. The rest has to be eco. Else he'll just be too, too far behind. Tigris attempting to take China's town center. Tigris is going to pull back. He doesn't like fighting next to all these towers. So China's going to try and start to form economy over here. He's taking an extra stone. Another gold. Timeline says it's fairly even. Tigris probably still has more working villagers. Now, if China raids smart, he might be able to get ahead, get a little bit of an edge in this game. Still has some idle villagers. Eight or nine. That's a lot whenever he's only got 30 for his economy. Yeah, what's Tigris doing? I'm not sure. Now, it really doesn't look like Tigris has any economy anywhere. He might have some at 9. He's really not farming anywhere, though. Maybe here. Maybe he's deleted some barracks, but really he's taking gazelle, elephant, berries. He's not farming at all. So at this point, it kind of looks like China has the map control. As I said, China should have taken the town center. Started economy there. That's exactly what he's doing. Population still looks okay for a sloppy game, 107. And this is odd for Tigris. Now it kind of seems like Tigris is only at 9 to 12. Still getting raided from China. China beginning to block off these small little areas. If he doesn't block this off, it might be bad news for him. China needs this economy right here to stay. If he loses it, he might end up too far behind. One would say Tigris is already behind, but Tigris is a monster. I think this raid won't do too much. House walls quickly from China. Pumping a lot of villagers. Just defending his town center under his towers. No market upgrades except for his farming upgrade. Therefore, he will not mine gold as efficiently as he should. And he will have to start mining gold very soon. 
And this is technically his third gold now, and it's not in the best position. If you count him obtaining this one in the middle. A fourth gold here, he took Tigris off of. Some good villager kills. Now, China's economy is growing, whereas Tigris's is just idling at least. Big kill loss advantage for China. Population is getting better as well, 125. So it's at least growing. Tigris really doesn't have much farmland at all. I guarantee he's deleted a lot of racks right here. Probably farming this entire area. Maybe deleted these racks as well. Re-racked up here. Now it looks like Tigris has his market upgrades. Tigris has three more upgrades. So it's probably wood cutting. Possibly Siegecraft. Coinage. Tigris may be noobing it, but China is not protecting his economy at all. He's got 4,000 wood, and he's just still moving around like a nomad. China really wanted to just seal the deal here. He really needs to close off these gaps. All he's got is two towers guarding his economy and not even a good spot. So he might lose some precious farming villagers now. Taking wood, although he doesn't need to. I don't think he's collected any gold yet. No. Eco's starting to level out. Timeline is in China Empire's favor. Evacuating everything. Still, no, still nowhere very safe to go, but he needs gold. And he's going to begin to take it here. Looks like Blue has some army here, or it was deleted. It seems like it was deleted. Now, I don't necessarily agree with this tag from China. I mean, it's only a couple of legions, so maybe if picks off some bills, it'd be worth it, but they're just sitting here fighting. They're not moving to raid. I think China's main goal here is to try and keep Tigris off the gold. He knows Tigris can't mine this. There's really no other gold that Tigris can mine. Timeline again in China's favor. Big kill loss advantage. Now, Tigris didn't get any villager kills with this raid that he had sent. So, essentially, this army has just gone to waste. He might take out a couple of towers, but really that's not going to put him in the position that he wants. The only safe land for him right now is 9 to 10, and there's hardly anything there. Gazelle's moving. Might have a push coming in through here. Yep. So China still has his army defending here, town center block, so this might this is definitely a fight that China's gonna want to take. If he notices it, it seems like he's just gonna run past, maybe go check the gold, make sure it's not being mined. Or he's gonna send them to try and clear, although he still has this army here. Now this run from Tigris is not gonna do anything. If anything, that might wipe out a little bit of Tigris's army that he's got left. Some farms at 12. So Tigris is taking back a little bit of land, but as RJ's mentioned, doesn't really have any resources. Good sneak right here. Even those couple little legs and a little colony of farms is going to do a lot of damage. Again, both players with no Ballista Towers. 
small waste. But again, China's gonna have to get a grip on controlling this map because he's about to lose 10 villagers here at the gold. They've got nowhere to run. He is at least taking the majority of the gold here. But it's still not good to lose 10 villagers like that, especially on a sloppy game like this. The map has quite literally been reversed. China's main objectives should probably be to take this gold next when he needs to. But he still needs to build up more economy and keep it alive. He's still just leaving big gaps in his eco, though. Now, all of this can be perfect farmland. He's still got 3,500 wood. You shouldn't even have to worry about chopping wood. Tigris' is eco is still idle. Timeline is leveling out a little bit more. Tigris will more than likely be starved of gold. Even if he's able to take this, this is only, call it 350 gold at the most. Good raid from China. Kill four, five, six bills. That's big right now. Should be some more good kills. Nice. China's doing quite well this game. Whether they call it Tigger's playing bad or whatever it is, China's holding up this game. He's keeping himself in it. And this is a really good push right here for China. Take out these villagers off the gold. And they've about mined the same, so you've got to know that Tigger's has to be low as well. It looks like China's going to make a push here. Still getting a lot of villager kills, which is exactly what he needs to stay ahead. Tigger's at the same time trying to raid China. Those would be some good kills right there. As long as he's at least idling the villagers, he's doing damage to Tigris. As long as his economy continues to go, as small as it may be. Some more good kills with China. Wow. This could be another potential good one legion. These one little legs, dude pay off so well. He's just tearing the Seiko apart. Those little kills really make a huge difference at this stage of the game. China low on gold again. He should try and take the forward golds to try and take away anything that Tigris might be able to take, but safest is usually the best option. But again, China's got no control of the map right here. If he would have kept this, if he would have just made a couple of quick TC blocks, house blocks, he wouldn't be in the position where he's only at 80 economy. Now it seems like now Tigris' economy is getting ahead. And it seems like he's got a bigger army. needs to protect this gold. Five or so idols for China. Tigris just always happens to try and figure out where those couple of bills are. Is China really going to go back here? I think this game is dead even right now. I don't think China... I don't think China needs to give up here. He still has a lot of army. About 50 legs here. Tigris is going to try and take this gold. Big push from Tigris. A lot of idle army. Big losses for China here. 
I'd really like to see China come back and win this game, but it's not looking so good anymore. China has no safe gold that he can take. Somehow he was able to lose control of it. A lot of vital farms for China. A good sneak from Tigris. Good move, putting a lot of villagers on gold here. Try and take what he can while he can. He still has a thousand food that he can work with. Again, I don't think China needs to go back just yet. The timeline is catching up to him a little bit. But I think he can still pull this out as long as he takes the right fights. Micros correctly. They each have about the same amount of map that's safe to each other. Now this is a good run from China right here. He needs to take some bills. Good control, good micro. This is a big raid for China right here. And the last thing he wants to do is run these into towers. He'd rather just keep them in the eco. It's kind of hard to remember about two or three legions whenever you've got an entire army trying to micro everything. Now China's the economy has dropped to about 60 pop. He must have lost a lot on this raid. This really has to pay off if he's going to stay in it. Tigris is still searching around for more eco. Idle bills everywhere. Now he's got plenty of gold. Now he's short on food. Now when your population gets this low to about 60, there's almost no coming back, and the timeline kind of shows that Tigris has definitely come ahead in this game. About 4,000 gold mined, all he really needs to do is farm. It looks like Tigris has got this game in the bag. Tigris knows it. The only safe gold now is for China, right here, and can't even really consider it safe. Now this is a very interesting game, they both practically flip-flop maps. Tigris takes where China started, China takes where Tigris started. Very interesting game. China with 63 pop, 10 or so farmers, taking gold, stone, no berries to take for fast food, spread gazelles, no elephants. China had such an advantage. He was almost at 130 pop, all he had to do was keep this area safe, and... Tigris' is economy runs got him. Tigris' is eco definitely growing, this game's over. The kill loss is definitely in China's favor, but... He picked the wrong fights at the wrong times. I don't agree with this push from Tigris to try and take out the houses and the towers, but his, his economy is getting quite far ahead. It's probably safe for him to take out the towers. 
He's got control of the golds now on the map. Stone. Just a little bit of extra overkill. Another push towards this gold. Just to make sure China can't take anything. Forward towering from Tigris. Forward racks to hold the gold. This game is definitely over. Tough one for China. It was a very good game. Tigris, from the player standpoint, is one of the one of the better players you can play against. China's definitely not up to that level, but to see them have a game like this has been very interesting and very entertaining. And China can be very strong in team games, but he's not much of a 1v1 player. And that shows a little bit, but he definitely, definitely played 100% this game. Trying to keep some eco up. Legion's coming in from here. You can see about the gazelles moving. Maybe it's just villagers coming in. I'm trying to take eco land. China clinging on to hope at this point. Tigris taking out Eco again. Should be any second now. China calls GG. Played from Tigris. Big kill loss for China. Almost exactly two times the kill loss. It's a good game.